Feature race here at Haydock. It's the big one. It's the Lancashire Chase. Three mile, one furlongs and a half. Three mile, one and a half furlongs to travel here. Grade one chase at Haydock. All Lang Syne's your favourite. Two group one wins on the board already for Ryan Tamasebi. G.I. Joe, Leon Van Rensburg. Leighton Damage, D. French. Lord's Kingdom for Jim Murray. Master of Time, Joshua Sutherland. Panzer Martin lead him. Plague runner, Craig Allen. Going to try and follow up from a good handicap win last Weak reality check, Ryan Tamasebi, Springgate, Darren Thompson, Carrizolo, Limerick for Davy Ladd, Dan Silly, Fami, Alex Cherry, Glad all over for Davy Ladd, lost on the way for Joshua Sutherland, one of the fancied runners, over Castoli, McCormack, Resentful, Sadie, James Shea, Sunday Mots, Thomas Rogers, up on the catwork, Leon Van Rensburg, Whitstar, Mayhem, Alex Cherry, and Yorkshire Scent, Craig Allen, off and running in the Lancashire Chase. So two of the fancied runners. In the lead as they get over the first, and all that sign was taking a pull there up front and took off very uh, far in front of that fence, but seemed to get over it okay. Lost on the way. One of those that has uh, got really good form, bounced back well with a good second last week uh, after a fall in the JN Wine Champion Chase. Going to try and get that first grade one on the board here so it's springed gate that has the lead a good couple of lengths advantage to all lang syne who made all of the running in america and week one to land a group one and when following up in the jam wine champion chase but spring gate is going to fight that that one off and uh, have the lead and set the pace here at haydock bright skies after a lot of rainfall throughout the day it'll be interesting to see what impact that's had on the ground we've lost one panzer's gone for martin lead him early on Unseated the rider at the rear of the field. So it's Springgate that has a lead of a few lengths, a good five lengths actually overall Lang Syne as they come to the next lost on the way. Uh, just in behind that one for Josh Sutherland, Lord's Kingdom, Jim Murray, Ryan Tamasebi, second string reality check racing towards the centre of the field in fifth place at the moment. G.I. Joe just in behind that one. So as they get over the next one, oh, so, sorry, there was, I, don't, I don't know if any of them made a mistake there, just uh, technical glitches, they went over that fence and couldn't quite see if anything uh, made a serious error. I think they all got over it okay, to be honest, so Springgate still has the lead from all Lang Syne, who's just looking to maybe move up and close that lead a little bit, really attack that fence, as did uh, Lost on the Way for Joshua Sutherland, so those two matching each other stride for stride, G.I. Joe has a share of fourth with Lord's Kingdom as they come over the next. G.I. Joe's not hit the same heights as it did last season. It's ran some promising races so far, particularly on week one, um, but hasn't got back into that winner's closure just yet and not seen anything to give you the confidence that it's the same champion Gold Cup horse we saw last season for Leon Van Rensburg, but this could be the opportunity to silence the critics and silence the doubters as they come over the next flight. It was a really good leap there from G.I. Joe. The other runner from that stable up on the catwalk has had three second place finishes so far f uh, before bombing out last week um, but that one will be relatively fancied for the stable as well today currently racing towards the rear of the field uh, alongside Overcast, Leighton Damage, Dan Silly Fami and Sunday Motts is the one that's detached at the rear of the field but still not being ridden along, so no distress signals from the jockey, just being ridden way out back as they come over that next flight. Some really good jumps up front, particularly from Lost on the Way. That one managed to take a length or so out of all Lang Syne just by attacking that fence. There was no real mistake from the latter, just a really good jump from Joshua Sutherland's horse, and that one's now moved up into second place. All Lang Syne reality check, G.I. Joe just in behind those. So some slightly different tactics from the favourite here. Uh, it's been uh, ridden from the very front in its three starts today two group one wins and a second when top weight in the charlie hall with just being ridden handily just off the pace today uh, maybe just going to try and save some energy for that final furlong and a half here at haydock park as they start to swing left-handed springgate still has the lead but that lead is shorter than it's ever been before because lost in the ways tracking it just on the outside and traveling really strongly for joshua sutherland who's having a really good week so far all lang Syne's moved right in behind springgate on the rail and it's just trapped in there it looks as though the horse wants to go and take up the lead but it didn't make the smartest move by moving onto the rail so really good jump from gi joe just in behind those is in fourth place at the moment carisolo limericks closer than it's ever been the gray horse and uh, all lang Syne's maybe got a bit of room now to go in between 
between Springgate and Lost on the Way if it chooses to do so as the front three jump in the air together and All Lang Syne does move on past Springgate and into the lead but Lost on the Way and Springgate decide to shut the door and move back past that one Yorkshire Sense creeping closer into this on the in the outside for Craig Allen in the Black Horse but maybe a touch slow at that fence and that allowed G.I. Joe to move up past that one and to go into outright fourth but Springgate any time a challenge is laid down it responds pretty well but Lost on the Way decides to lay down another challenge on the outside for Joshua Sutherland and goes into the outright lead all Lang Syne fighting back on the inside those two take off in the air together what a sight to see some of the jumping from those fancied runners at the front of the field so far it's all Lang Syne and Lost on the Way having a tussle as they go over the next G.I. Joe now really bursting into action on the outside and travelling really strongly Springgate is still there in fourth place and hugging the rail behind them Lords Kingdom Plague Runner that we know will stay this distance really well for Craig Allen Yorkshire Scent looks outpaced for the same stable up on the catwalks really trying to fight its way into this race as well we're into the final four and a half furlongs Whitstar Mayhem is making some really good progress from the rear of the field and hits the front as they get over the next fence all Lang Syne and Lost on the Way got in a bit tight and they've been passed if they ran the race out of each other in this because Whitstar Mayhem up on the catwalk have now made their way from the rear of the field to shoot into the lead as they go over the next it's we lost Dan Silly Fami, but it's Whitstar Mayhem that still has the lead from up on the catwalk G.I. Joe lost on the way All Lang Syne has the rail but those two might have ran the race out of each other here as Whitstar Mayhem and up on the catwalk two of the runners from the back have now got the lead and lost on the way is now trying to battle back into it for Joshua Sutherland up on the rail All Lang Syne staying on but it's up on the catwalk that has the lead lost on the way master of time All Lang Syne G.I. Joe's trying to stay on as we come to the furlong in the Lancashire chase in the last flight up on the catwalk gets over it Master of Times there G.I. Joe's trying to stay on so is All Lang Syne up the rail but it's Master of Time that's gone into the lead for Joshua Sutherland G.I. Joe's trying to fight up All Lang Syne on the rail as they come to the Master of Time wins it as they come to the line Master of Time wins it what a race what a race sorry we lost a few riders at the last couple of fences we had some fallers but all of the action was unfolding up front and a really good race developed right in front of our eyes there and it's the top three stables that battled it out and Joshua Sutherland's is the one that came out on top master of time wins it and we'll get in the race car there so a really good jump at the last help master of time win it for Joshua Sutherland G.I. Joe some signs in the, that horse that he can fight for these group one big prizes uh, come second all Lang Syne jumped well but just didn't have enough the even money favourite but a really good run in third and fourth was uh, the other runner from the Leon Van Rensburg stable up on the catwalk and fifth was lost on the way so Joshua Sutherland tops and tails the top five and a really good performance from his stable lands the Lancashire.